So hello Adam Namaste to all our YT viewers. My name is Ashish Parik and today on our show of Celeb Talk I have with me a person or should I say an actress who's not just my one of my favorite actresses but also someone who knows how to stay on top of the game down south. It's Jennifer Kotwal. Welcome Hi. to the show Jennifer. <laughs> it's great to have you here yeah. and uh, Jennifer yeah. uh, starting from your childhood. Yeah. You started modeling at uh, 15. That's right. <laughs> That's pretty early. So how did you get into it? Okay now it's a funny story All okay right. uh I never thought that I'm going to get into modeling or acting I was quite a nerdy kid but I always had a fantastic personality <laughs> Okay okay so it was funny we were all in Shamak Dawar dance class okay. and uh, I was just a little kid I used to go to school just what like eat a lot how kids have fun one of my friends is like hey uh why don't you audition I have to go uh, for a close up toothpaste audition All come right. and cheer me because I'm a very good cheerleader Okay. You know, if you're ever sad in life, if you're down, you're depressed. I'm so many people's agony aunt. <laughs> so they're like, "Come, Jennifer, come to cheer me." I said, "Okay, come on." So then the audition person asks me, "You are cheering a lot. Why don't you audition?" I said, "Me? For what? Am I a background dancer? What am I doing? No, just come and smile. Whatever you're doing outside the camera, do in front of the camera." I said, "Okay." For one month, two months, I never heard of them. Three months later, they're like, "Hey, guess what? Uh, you've been selected for a close-up toothpaste ad, and among some 500 girls, we've been looking and looking and looking, and you've got a five-year contract." Mm-hmm. And I still ask them. I thought my friends are playing a prank. I'm like, "No way! Get out of here!" Okay. Me ad, and they're like, "Yeah, you." So I've never done any. I didn't even have pictures. You know, people have pictures. They go to modeling school, acting, and I'm not one of those ramp models. I just know how to talk a lot in front of the camera. More, um, how do you put it? Uh, so you're more spontaneous. Advertising kind of a model. No, you were just spontaneous. Spontaneous. It, didn't, it wasn't planned or anything. Does it look planned? No. So that was my oh, first right. ad, and after that, I did Fanta. Then okay. I did Sun Silk shampoo. Then I did Cadbury. Uh, then I did a lot of. Uh, then I did the serial which came up called Just Mohabbat. Yeah. So that was like uh, I learned acting while doing that serial. Okay. So I played the character of Saloni in that, and I still didn't have even one singling uh, single modeling picture. Okay. So. one single modeling picture so i was like just going with the flow okay. as the ads came i did them and i just had fun with it so you uh, i read about you you're from a parsi family yeah. so hailing from a parsi family how supportive were your parents about your career oh my god like uh, first of all i never called it a career even right now somebody says you are an actress first of all i mean actress as in yeah i mean it can be a hobby i don't know how can people take it as a profession no one gives a blockbuster as an hobby <laughs> You you given a blockbuster. I'll tell you what happened. Okay, that was also not planned. Okay. I was shooting a Lakme commercial in Bombay, okay. and that by that time I had my modeling pictures ready because okay. then I did lots and lots of ads. I've done Finally. like 100 ads, yeah. <laughs> Finally. So, I think Mr. Ram Prasad and Mr. Prem, the director, Jogi director came. They saw the TV monitor, and I was like, "No, I don't want to do, you know, I don't want to be away from Bombay." They're like, "Just do it." I'm like, "Okay, my first movie was a hit, so I got stuck here." All right. So, uh, speaking about your family and all that, uh, how supportive was your father, and uh, what what was uh, his role? It in was your hilarious because the first day, obviously, my dad will never, never send me anywhere without my mother, all because right. I'm the only child. Oh, wow. So okay. my parents were like really, uh, what do you call that? Very protective of me. So they were like, uh, Dad is strict rules. Such a pretty girl, and. You're not going anywhere alone. Okay. Not even one movie shoot. My mom has not come. <laughs> People great. are like, "Madam, now you're 26, 27. Why is your mummy coming?" My dad is like, "Mummy will come." <laughs> so given the situation, if mummy can't come, no movie. <laughs> so given the situation, yeah. has any co-actor even tried to hit at you? Given your any mom who? is present all the time, any co-actor? Co-actor, no. Because yeah. your mom is always pre- present. No, I, you know, I'm the kind of person who I make everyone my homies or my buddies or my friends. I don't know about hitting on. And uh, no, I don't have many filmy friends. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Somehow I used to come, do my work, shoot in Bangalore, and then go back to Bombay because I used to miss home a lot. Okay. Until the last three years, and everybody's like, "Ma'am, why aren't you doing more Canada movies?" Because I got a C4 disc injury. All right. So I cannot work out, but my I eat a lot, I chill. But they're like, "Come on, man! Now come on, do one, do one." And if I'm going to get some item girl role, and you know, आप ये एक baby doll song है करेगा, मैं नहीं करेगा. मुझे नहीं करना item song. So just throwing out a message at everyone right now who might be interested in. Yeah, I have to get in the zone though because right. you know I have to feel it. You know, because it's like it's not like people are like, why are you not doing Canada movies? It's not like I've been a fade out. My last movie was still with Darshan. It was Prince. It was still a commercial movie. I had a lot of and Touchwood. My films always have super hit songs. All right. You know, if you play my songs, be it Jogi, be it Doctor Satya, Satya Man Savitri, be it from Prince, they all have been such peppy numbers. You know, so luckily that. But I have to get in the zone before I do exactly. a movie. Exactly. I have and, to get in the zone. And you model for uh, as as you mentioned, you model for Lakme, Cadbury, yeah. Fanta, and even yeah. now. Many other brands Many you model for. So, as a public figure who has a lot of influence amongst youth, what do you think? Uh, what is that one factor you consider before promoting a ba- brand? 
See, I'll tell you one thing. First of all, I have a dual life, okay, okay. which my friends or family don't understand. <laughs> like I used to do movies in Bangalore. I used to go out, get mobbed here. Okay, when I go to Bombay, I'm just a simple girl. And at okay. home, my parents are like, do this work yourself, do that work yourself. I was never treated like, oh, you're special. Yeah. So I always had my head on my shoulders. I never looked at myself like a celebrity, believe it or not. And I believe in, and I'll tell you why. That's why on my Facebook page, I don't keep a separate fan page or something because I don't believe they are my fans. I believe everyone is my friend. So on my personal page, I've allowed subscribers. Okay. So whatever my friends get to see, people who subscribe to my page get to see. So I don't believe in having separate page or treat people like friends or I'm some celebrity. No. Okay. I keep it natural. Whoever wants to follow my life, it's not only about follow me because I'm doing this movie. Follow me in general. My life is quite exciting. <laughs> okay. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Google Plus. Uh, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, by the time they figure that out, it will take a lot of time. And uh, basically, follow me everywhere. And, and every ID is at Jennifer Kotwal except Snapchat. Snapchat is Jennifer underscore Kotwal. Cool. You need to get Snapchat, by the way. He doesn't have Snapchat. I, I, he doesn't I, have Snapchat. <laughs> she, she just uh, gave me the idea of Snapchat, so I'm gonna get that for sure. You need to get that. All right. So, uh, talking of the products and all that, there's a lot of hue and cry these days that uh, you know, any brand ambassador of a product gets blamed <coughs> for whatever goes wrong with that brand. So, how do you look at that? What's your take on that? No, I'm a professional. Uh, right. You have something for me to endorse. I've been doing endorsing since I was a child and I'm a thorough professional. If there's a product I have to endorse, I'm professional, you pay me my fee and I'll stick by the product. What if someone go, something goes wrong with that product or they're involved in a scam or something like that? Well, uh, I don't go to the factories personally to make it. How is a model or an actor supposed to do? I'm a professional, you want my services. This is I've always been a model since I was a kid. You want me to model for your fee, you speak to my manager, we charge a certain fee, I model for your product. No, but because a lot of people buy it just because you're endorsing it. That's what happened with Madhuri Dixit and Maggie. Well, Maggi. more or less, I try to be, uh, I try to like the product that I'm endorsing. All right. More or less. Okay. And it doesn't matter. It's not only Sun Silk or Cadbury. Even if you tell me Mysore Chappals also, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. No problem. Right. Trampoline, okay. Chappal, bags, anything. Anything. <laughs> Sari, jewelry. I am not stuck up. And yeah, I love, I love what I do. And I do what I love. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, uh, so you started your modeling career at 15 and then your first acting stint was uh, in a serial called Just Mohabbat oh, as you just mentioned. That's right. Uh, how did you get that role? Did you audition for it? Just Mohabbat? No. I had done uh, five, six ads and they were looking out for fresh faces. And you know, they had to show that innocence on screen of someone who doesn't know acting. Okay. And trust me, I didn't know it. <laughs> and my Hindi was also so bad okay. because it was just very bad. I used to call a boy like, Tum idhar aati, main yaan jaati. <laughs> I didn't know how to talk properly. But that right. serial was amazing. I loved being a part of it and it taught me all the acting I probably know. And uh, one of the most difficult shots in any actor's life is his first shot. Yeah. So tell us about your first shot. Oh my God. Oh my God. My first shot was obviously that close up ad which I did at 15. It was a disaster. It was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> you know, I had you to just. You can tell us uh, the number of free takes you took. Oh my God. Like UTV was the production, I remember. Okay. It was a very good production and I was doing all the Hindustan lever uh, people were there. And it was a disgrace because, uh, and you know, to embarrass me, my dad. Mother, okay. and they got my grandmother. <laughs> then everybody watched. Jennifer is doing a shooting first time in her life. Oh, right. And I wanted to cry because I was getting shouted at by the director saying, Where have we got her from? Where has she got her from? All I had to do was take a toothpaste, stand up, smile, and the background dancers had to do a full turn, jump, come and sit. Okay. So every time I didn't do it properly, they had to do it all over again. Oh, right. And what happened is, I was just getting bad words from background dancers. Okay. They were like, "Isko kahan se utha ke laaye? Isko kuch nahi aata. Isko smile karna bhi nahi aata." Must have been so horrendous. <laughs> it was horrific. Not to mention my grandmother sitting and watching, and I was like, "Why have you got my grandmom?" But they got it. <laughs> and uh, I think that's why your mom still sticks around with you. She doesn't want anyone to scold you or something. <laughs> no, she's the most like, "Come on, come on, buckle up, buckle up." She's the one always encouraging. All right, uh, and uh, your co-actors in that, uh, you want to speak anything about them? I don't even or remember them. You don't even remember them? All sorry, right. sorry. I don't know. <laughs> if they're watching, <laughs> they would be like... I mean, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching, I mean, I don't know. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, what if they come in front of you? Can you remember them at, at least? Uh, yeah, then I would probably. Then you remember yeah. them? I don't have Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you don't even remember them. I remember them. <laughs> I remember them if they come in front of me. Uh, sure. So how did your life change after that? Of course, you're doing modeling. You had a bit of you know uh, uh, showcasey lifestyle. Honestly, can I can I really be honest? It was very funny because I used to just work so hard that time, and I also had to come and study. And uh, I was in HR college, okay. like me, Ranbir Kapoor, and Neil Nitin. We all were in the same class. All right. Yeah. So uh, we studied together. Okay. So what happened? They all left after twelfth. 
I was the only one. I'm like telling dad, everybody wants to become an actor and they've left after 12th standard. Why do I have to do 13, 14, 15? Okay. Ranbir obviously is a superstar. Neil Lithan is still my friend. Okay. And uh, he's just getting married. And uh, he also left after 12 because he knew exactly what he wanted to do. Exactly. My parents are like, you are not a star kid, you better study. <laughs> I am not a producer and I'm not a few hero and I'm not going to launch you. So you do your commerce and I just did it. <laughs> because you had a dual lifestyle, right? You, you didn't dual, showcase dual. Your, your But I worked self. so hard, I, I didn't have time to check out outside. Oh, I'm famous. Oh, I'm hot. No, I didn't have time for that. And also you landed a special appearance role in Yade. Yade. Which was... Uh, you know why I did that? Everybody's like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you do a proper lead role? Because that time I was so scared. I thought, who will give me a movie? I mean, you know. And that too you were with a, like, yeah. a legendary director like uh, Subhash yeah. and he's also called I'll the showman. I'll tell you showman. why, because I already did an ad for Pass Pass normally, not in the movie. Okay. So they are like, can you do the ad for Pass Pass in the movie? I said, okay, let's do it. Because I never thought like I'll get a movie so simple. Okay. Or I thought it's so hard or I'm not going to go around taking my pictures to producers and saying, hey, excuse me, please give me a movie. I'm not going to do that. Even Jogi, the contract came home. I've never gone with pictures to a producer's office. You didn't even have pictures in the first place? In the <laughs> first place, I didn't have it. But when I got it, I never went with it. All right. So I said, let me do this little role and that's it. I don't want to do anything else. And uh, did you have any sort of an interaction with Subhash Gai, sir? How was it? Of course, he was my director. Obviously, I'll interact with him. He's very nice. He's sweet. No, apart from the scoldings, I'm not asking anything else. I never got a scolding. I was professional. I got along with Rithik very well. I got along with Karina very well. And I was always a type of a tomboy. So I'm quite of a loner, like um, if everybody's shooting, I don't like too much talk, talk, talk on the set. I always like my music, my own stuff and I just do my own thing. You're just in your zone and I'm you always in my zone. Too, yeah. People always think that Jenny you're always surrounded by your friends. What they don't understand one thing about me is that I love my me time. Okay. There is a particular period in my life where it's not about being lonely, it's about being a loner. No. Okay. I prefer being left alone. Yeah. That's cool. That, I can uh, resonate to that. I can understand <laughs> yeah. that. A person who doesn't have a Snapchat, of course, can relate to that. <laughs> All right then. Uh, what about uh, Ritik and Karina? Like, are they uh, are they head on their shoulders, as they say? Of course, of or course. Or are they are I they those typical superstars? Absolutely who not. Just, uh, I don't know anything other than that. I know that Ritik will always be one of my favorite co-stars. Okay. I love him. Of course, his head is on his shoulder. He's so sweet, and he's a great human being. Uh, and what about Karina? Karina has, has so much spunk in her. She's so she was so energetic. Whatever little I interacted in those scenes with her, so she's good as well. And uh, speaking about uh, your acting. Then uh, which were the roles, like how, what were, what were the roles that you got from Bollywood after that? <laughs> Bollywood? As in, you know what happened? I started getting main leads and people are like, Aapne itna chota role yaad mein kyun kiya na? Okay. What did I know that you are going to come up with a lead? Okay. So I've never really focused Bollywood, hai, Sandalwood, hai, a Spanish movie, hai, Chinese movie. Hai. As long as I'm happy doing what I'm doing, okay. I'll do it. That's cool. And uh, what about your movies down south? You also acted with uh, Junior NTR in Naga. Yeah. So, of course, you have an idea how the Telugu film industry works. Yeah. So, what, what is that one uh, striking difference that you see between uh, the Telugu film industry and the Kannada film industry? Anything you know, related to work? Because ethic? Telugu was ages ago. That was almost when I was just doing Just Mobile. All right, back then, how was the work ethic? Like, any difference? I love it. No, I think it's the same. Because I honestly think it's the same, except that I think Hyderabad is a slightly bigger industry. Uh -huh. Other than that, I think I love Bangalore. You love Bangalore? Bangalore is always going to be my favorite city. All right. I mean, people always ask, you like Bombay or you like Bangalore? I mean, I like Bangalore. I mean, whenever, whenever <laughs> Jennifer Kothwal wants to look like or feel like a superstar, she comes to Bangalore, she's surrounded no, by mob. No, I don't want to feel like a superstar at all. That is not right. No, but you can't avoid that. When you come over here, there are hundreds of people thronging you all the time. Um, you think so? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm surrounded out here. <laughs> I've come for a friend's wedding. I'm in a hotel room. There is no people. So, you're just so I, don't know, I don't walk around on the road. <laughs> no, if you so I don't know. <laughs> so because uh, airport, few people come. Yeah. And the reason for that is uh, okay. Jennifer is on a roll now. <laughs> so. No, I, I don't come to feel like a superstar. <laughs> but I like I like Bangalore. I like the food. I come to eat. You people are eat. like stop eating. I'm like no. <laughs> uh, especially after your injury, I guess you have a yeah. lot of time to. Yeah, eat. Yeah, I had a C4 disc injury very badly. And you stopped. Taking up movies after that? I stopped taking up movies after the injury. A lot of people are disappointed by that. Do you I know, know that? I know. I love, I, I said I love Bangalore. I love to spend time in the city and the only way I got to spend time in this city is by uh, doing think. movies. Okay. So of course I want to do it. But right. whoever's listening, sir, I'm not doing your baby doll item numbers. I'm not doing your, oh, madam guest appearance. No, I'm not doing that. So unless you have a proper movie, do not call me. <laughs> well, she's, she's just back from injury and she's... Yeah, now I'm fine. You're fine now. But it'll, it'll take a little three, four months to get in this. Because a lot of people might be worried about like how serious Aray, it is. They are very worried. They are like, man, what are you doing? Relax. Kar rahe hai. <laughs> All right. So she'll be back with a bang. You'll be back I with a bang. I don't know whether I'll be back with a bang, but I'll be definitely back with something I like to do and enjoy going on the set every day. I don't want to go on the set and be like, oh my God, what am I doing here? 
you're gone and why am I working? And the reason I told you have so many fans in Bangalore is because uh, you did a movie here that turned out to be the biggest, one of the biggest movies yeah. ever made in Sandalwood, yeah. Jogi. Of course, it was lovely. How did you, how did you get that role? As I said, uh, yeah, I was shooting in Bombay and uh, Prem saw and uh, my manager at that time came and saw me shooting the ad. Okay. They liked what I saw, the contract came home Okay. and I just did the movie. And you didn't send the pictures or anything? No, no pictures. They took pictures, whatever they wanted to <laughs> Alright, and uh, t uh, t uh, something, uh, just tell us honestly, uh, while you were shooting for the movie, of course you would have had an idea that the movie would be a hit and all that because Not really, everybody told me it's a very big production no, because, Yeah, because it had an actor like Shivraj Kumar who was, who is still yeah, a big actor yeah. But back then he was the best actor Yeah, and Yana was doing the item number So I'm sure she, I, you know my thing of taking up the movie is Why would Yana Gupta do an item number in any rubbish movie? Of course it's not rubbish So they said they got Yana Gupta for the item number okay. I said I'm doing the mainly All That's right. it <laughs> And uh, did you have any idea that this movie would turn out to be as huge as it was? No no, nor did they make me feel like that. They just didn't. How overwhelming was the response? I was dancing and they, you know that song Chikabuku. And I, they kept on shouting at me, it's not good enough. More energy, more energy, more energy. At the end of it, I think I was flying. And I was like, okay. But they, they, they shout a lot, man, to get the perfect shot. And I like that because that brings out the best in you. All right. So what was the response? How it was over? I had no idea when the movie released. I was still in Bombay. Then Mr. Ram Prasad said, come down. You have to, you, you, and come in a local theatre with me. I went to PVR and all, it was nice. It was always, it was houseful. And I remember that time Mangal Pandey had come out. All right. And that went away in one, two weeks. But Jogi was still running. And I was like, whoa. For Jogi, there were lines like this and this and this. And, you know, I was like, what? My producer said, you're not going to get the feel just sitting in a PVR in... Exactly. Theatre. It was a mass Come movie. to a local theatre. You know where I went? I'll tell you this theatre named Kapali. Okay. Yeah. I went to Kapali with my mother. All right. For extra security, I took you my makeup there. man and driver. You went there. You went with your mother, right? I went there. I went with my mother. <laughs> I went, and that's when I got to know the movie is big. That's when I got to know. That's when you got yeah. to know the movie is big, not yeah. huge. No, no. But like, like people were standing up, and I my entry came running. When Shivraj Kumar's entry came, I went deaf. You All know. Right. So it was amazing. That whole feel was amazing. Speaking of, uh, I tell you, I tell you the biggest compliment okay. uh, that Mr. Raj Kumar, okay, who's passed away now, and Mr. Rajni Khan saw this movie together. In PBR, the go, uh, I still remember PBR at Kora Mangla. It would be an actor's dream. Dream, and he said, uh, and the, the auntie who played my mother, oh. and uh, she said, uh, you know, why is the press pressurizing her so much? You know, just chill out. She's done a very good job. I said, okay, thank God. Speaking of Shivraj Kumar, uh, how was your experience working with him? He is an amazing actor. He is amazing, and the way he made me feel comfortable on the first day of set, saying, chill out, and you know, I'm a quick learner. Yeah. So I learned very quickly and he's like, you're good, you're good. Don't let, the, don't let anybody else scare you. And that time Prem, uh, Prem sir didn't know English. All right. so I'm and like, you didn't know Kannada? No, at that time I didn't know, I didn't even understand. Now I understand obviously, but uh, he kept telling me when I acted. I was like, sir, is it okay, not okay? If I see a smile, that means I'm doing okay. If he's doing this, it means it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he, he must have been smiling uh, throughout the movie. I hope so. I hope so. I of really course, it so. came out so good and the response was overwhelming. Yeah. How yeah. did your life change after that? Like, there, there must have been a dramatic shift in your lifestyle and all that. Not at all. Not at all. I'm oh. just Jenny. I'm just doing my work, going about me, doing my work, going about me. That kept happening. Because it was such a huge hit. You, you might have become an overnight star after that. No, there's nothing overnight. I was always down to earth. You can ask anyone. I don't think I ever was a star. No, as you such. as a person were down to earth. <laughs> what about the people? Like people a lot of a lot. people started people, Oh, I have you. a very uh, weird incident. Okay. See, before Jogi released, and that time, uh, you know, we didn't have 4G, 3G, nothing. Okay. That time, one edge we had, <laughs> and barely some internet. And that time, I remember I had a Nokia phone. <laughs> okay. It was so bad. So I used to go in uh, MG Road. There used to be one uh, place where they let you use computer and internet. All right. Huh? Uh, like, a, what do you call that? Internet lab. Cafe or something. Cafe or something like that. So before Jogi release, I used to go there. I used to print. Very okay looking place. Okay. Like all normal people come there. But I wanted to be like, I wanted to operate my net and email and Facebook so much. I'm like, I have to go. I have to go. So I went. And uh, I think after Jogi released, after two months, I went there. And uh, I didn't realize, so I walked out of the car like how I walk out. Oh. And I walked, I walked, and I just turned behind, and I realized there are 30 people behind me walking. So the incident is not about 30 people following me. Okay. That same uncle, I've been going 
to that cyber cafe for months. Uh, uh, he just told me, Madam, you get out now. I'm like, why? Because as I entered the cyber cafe, all those people flogging, everybody else was getting he disturbed. He just asked you to get out. He told me to get out. And that I thought was so unfair. What have I done? What okay, I yeah, done? exactly. Why should I get out? Make ya karoon. So I think that was very unfair. Uh, did you get out or? I had to. Somebody's telling you get out. Why and what about those 30 people? They got out with me. That's what he wanted. They followed you till? They followed me till my car. And I obviously got in the car and went away. But that was not right. That was not right. Uh, was, not was right. it exciting or was it creepy? It was not creepy. My mood was gone because somebody was rude to me for the first time. And he was loving it that he's rude to Jennifer Gotwal. He was loving it. Like I could see the glow on his face. Old Khadus, typical old Khadus uncle. I mean, full respect, uncle. You're wonderful, but you shouldn't have been rude. That's all I'm saying. She's not coming back. I never went back. Was it because of that or some, you got your... No, somebody's telling you to leave. Why would you go back? Okay. I don't understand. <laughs> Alright. And uh, then you, you work in an industry where there are a lot of cat fights and all those things happening. You made a special friend. I read about her. Uh, her name is Shermila Mandre. Shermila. <laughs> uh, how, how's your friendship with her? Uh, okay, so as I was telling you, I don't have filmy friends. I don't. I don't go out for lunches, dinners or partying with any filmy crew. So when the movie gets over, it's over. But I never knew, in Bangalore, I never used to go out. But one uh, movie, E Bandana. Uh -huh, so yeah. I had to share my makeup room with some young artist and that happened to be Sharmila. Okay. So I think she was like the only fun and she spoke well and she's the one who's saying, hey, what's up? Why don't you come out? Why don't we get a meal? I said, wow, what a friendly person in Bangalore. So from day one to now, we still get along. You just born in In fact, she's makeup. coming to meet me tomorrow. In fact, she can come right now. <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> Yeah, uh, you just wanted. She's still on up. my speed dial. Yes. Uh, I, I'm sure. I either click with pe uh, people in the first five minutes or never. That's it. That's always been me. All, all right, all right. I mean, that's not judgmental actually, but that's how you are. That's just how I am. Yeah. That's just how she is. Yeah. All right. So, what about uh, your work in Mumbai? Are you following up any? Yeah. The last thing, if somebody says, "What have you done last?" Because you've disappeared from movies. The last thing that I did was uh, for TLC, Travel and Living Channel, which I think was one of the best channels. It's a part of, it's a part of Nat Geo Animal Planet. I was actually that, coming back to that question. Yeah, coming TLC. to that question because yeah. uh, I happened to have a look at your pics yesterday, or uh, in other terms, they call it stalking. <laughs> I did that today morning. <laughs> All right. I just had a look at your pics and. Add uh, me on Facebook. Subscribe to my Facebook. Subscribe. To it's the Facebook. only Jennifer Cotal with a blue tick. All right. We'll, <laughs> we could get, we could just get a board over here and we could keep her and ev after every question we can just uh, show it to them. Follow. Follow, follow, follow. Follow. No, I'm telling you to follow. Okay. Primarily. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll, I'll follow that. <laughs> uh, I, I read somewhere that you had a show on TLC as well. Yeah. It's about gold yeah. or something. It was, oh my oh, tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, so the season one was done by Lisa Ray. Uh, season two was done by Miss India. And season three, they wanted someone with a lot of energy and who just talks a lot. So I'm like, hello. I'm here. <laughs> and jewelry, which girl would resist that? Yeah, I love it. I had so much fun. It was a great team and I think everyone was amazing. Alright, so we are done with all the serious questions and all that stuff. And uh, right now, it's time for the rapid fire round. <laughs> rapid uh, fire. Are you ready for that? <laughs> yeah. So alright, we are almost done with all the serious questions and it's time for the rapid fire round. And I hope Jeno Kotpaval is ready for that. Yeah, I'm always ready. <laughs> okay. The first question is, your nickname? Jen, Jenny, J, Jayco. Which one do you prefer? J. J. All right. Uh, if you had to put up a matrimonial ad for yourself now, what would it read? I will never put up a matrimonial ad ever. Why? Such bad days have not come. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, the cheesiest pickup line ever used on you? Uh, stupid lines. Yeah. Just I find it very cheesy when people don't even know you and like, hey, what is your number? What is your number? You ain't getting my number. Go away. I don't like All that. All right. Like that mega trainer song. <laughs> All right, I just I just managed to crack her up. Yeah. It was this is a rapid fire round, and you have to answer real quick. Really the last quick. person you texted. The last person I texted, I texted or replied to. Oh, uh, replied. I just replied to some fan on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, and now it's time for uh, choose any one of the following: mm -hmm. love and poverty or lust and fame. Lust and fame. Lust and fame. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, fat or ugly. There's nothing like fat and ugly. It's about perception. I didn't ask fat and ugly. I asked either you're fat or you're ugly. Which do you choose? Obviously fat because you can become thin. Ugly is forever. This is a real tough one. Mumbai or Bengaluru? Bangalore. Okay. I it's, love Bangalore. It's not It's not the pleasing part, I hope. No. Okay. I love Bangalore. It's one of my favorite cities. I've and, always said that. And you feel like a superstar here? No, I don't. <laughs> what is this superstar thing you're going on about? Because there, there are a lot no. of people who follow you here. No, no, I don't feel like No matter how much you try to deny it, it's a fact. No, no, I'm just chilling. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to be modest, but she's not. Okay, the next one, actor or model? Actor. <laughs> and uh, single or committed? Both are good. Weekend party or chilling in your pajamas? Chilling in pajamas sometimes, but... Uh, At weekend parties? weekend parties. Alright. I want both. 
Okay. Uh, think before you talk or talk before you think. Usually I talk before I think. Usually. Yeah. I hope that's not the case no, right no, now. No, no, no. I talk a lot without thinking and recently in life I've learned how to become diplomatic. Earlier I never was and that's gotten me into a lot of trouble. Okay. And uh, early bird or night owl? Early bird, always. 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. I rise up no matter what. Even if the wedding has been late or I've been out for a function, 6 o'clock in the morning I'm always awake. You're always awake. Always. All right. So Tinder or shadi.com? None. You have to choose no. one of them. I don't I'm not on Tinder. And shadi.com I'll If never be on. If you were given a choice, just none. I'm just not my thing. You're so active on social media and you're not on Tinder. I know why will I be on Tinder? A lot of people are even though they are not interested. I'm not on Tinder. <laughs> you're not even interested or not on you don't even A friend of mine made this other dating app called Hinge. Okay. That's made by a friend of mine and I think even that's a dating app. Okay. And once he forced me to be on it so that was it. In 2 days I got out but that was it. Uh, I don't even know how they work. I don't know. Is it good or what? What is Tinder? Tinder it's an app where uh, you people know date and all. people uh, just write swap if they are interested and then you get the notification and you Oh you so they are going to decide whether they like me or not that's not happening <laughs> that's not happening I'm great <laughs> yeah I don't need your swipes <laughs> All right that's never happening you're never going to get that choice <laughs> All right your experience so far working in Bollywood Bollywood it's such a bad This concept. is not a rapid fire round you can okay. answer as so well. Bollywood I don't know what Bollywood or Hollywood or Sandalwood or Spanish wood or whatever it is my experience overall working has been fun in my life I did ads at a very correct time where we just gave auditions fair and square if you were good you were selected if you were bad not okay. I didn't have to be nice to anyone to get an ad I didn't have to suck up to anyone those days were amazing if you're good at something camera likes you you're on you know right. and then gradually I got into acting and I'm doing south movies because they come to me I don't run behind movies at all so it's been amazing and I'm happy at what I do and, uh, and I love people I'm a people's person so acting makes enables me to talk to a whole lot of people and it's also the other and way I've always been a people's person a lot of people like you as well yes it's mutual because you're you I also like them back I love people I love meeting new people I love when people randomly come and talk to me and if it's intelligent I respond back Okay. It doesn't matter if they're strangers, but if they're stupid and sleazy, then I don't respond. Exactly. But if someone genuinely comes up and says, "Hey, what's up? What have you been up to?" I would love to talk to them. Because a lot of a lot of people don't get that actually. I mean, uh, they they might know you very well, but yeah. you don't know them. So when no, they come okay. up to you and I ask like your number directly, that's... no number is stupid. It's stupidity. But if you if you want to talk, let's talk. And uh, a lot of model turned actresses have this problem called uh, a lot of models complain these days about uh, something called casting couch. You think that exists? No, I told you my whole life history now. How much what casting couch? I mean, one thing's led to another. I've I've heard it exist, but for me, I told you it gradually happened. Ad, I got in by fluke. South movie, Jogi, they saw my lack me ad. They took me for the movie. All right. Movie become a hit. I'm naturally getting movies. Okay. So what do I do? And I just pick up. No, I'm not. Oh, my goal came because uh, they were like, "You're very good. You're very talkative. Chalo." So I'm, I'm not just. I'm not just asking though. about you uh, particularly. Oh. J- just generally, do you think? I've heard it does. You heard it does. There was a, there are a lot of people complaining about that. There's a lot of hue and cry about that. I guess. So that's that. I guess everyone should be smart and handle everything in a smart way. And I don't think everybody should only target like, oh, because you're in the entertainment line. Okay, this exists. It's about your choice. It's all about the choices that you make. So you do exactly. it wisely. Exactly. Yeah. And what's your view on body shaming? That that happens a lot on social media these days. People oh think they're God. cool. I think that's being a coward because if you're going to be behind the screen and just criticize and write nonsense about someone that doesn't have the chance to talk to you in on your face and give it back to you, exactly. that you're being a coward. Come try and say that on your face or on my face. There would be a different response. Exactly. Speaking of that, uh, what's your take on the Pakistani act, the entire issue of Pakistani actors being sent back? And all I'm that? not a producer. I'm not a director, and uh, I don't no, know. No, I guess I guess whatever the government decides, we must abide by that. Exactly. No, as an artist, how do you do? You think it's fair for them because they come here to work and. Uh, At issues like this, I don't think whether it's fair or not. I think we should follow whatever the government decides. Exactly. So that's your take on it. Of course, you have to be a good citizen. I love my country. I love India, and I'll follow whatever the government wants. So, Jennifer, uh, talk talk us through your upcoming projects. Uh, is there anything you're concentrating on? Well, right now I'm planning on doing the season, the next season for Oh My Gold, which they might repeat me in. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at traveling and talking about whatever jewelry, gold, whatever. And uh, any message uh, before you go to all our YT viewers? <laughs> Okay I would just say have a good life have fun uh live in your present and don't worry <laughs> and uh, when can they expect you back that I'll let you know follow me on my social media <laughs> okay follow her follow her follow her and with that talk uh, on snapchat on twitter on google plus on facebook <laughs> uh did you miss out on anything twitter no no and twitter of course on twitter how could you miss out on that <laughs> all right so anyway. keep yeah. watching ytv everyone yeah. and make sure you first subscribe to her and then keep watching ytv and we'll be back with another episode of celeb talk where we ha- will <laughs> where we will have another brand new celebrity and we'll speak to them live and exclusively just for you okay
Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>